We do want to bring in former State Department spokesperson now, Ian Kelly, also the former ambassador to the nation of Georgia. Ambassador Kelly, thank you so much for being here. No, thank you very much for having me. Ambassador, what were you thinking as you were watching today's events unfold? How close do you think we came to a military coup against Putin? Well, it was just an absolutely extraordinary uh, 36 hours. I think uh, a lot of us were were glued to the television or glued to our, our Twitter feed. It really, uh, as I think uh, uh, several of your reporters suggested, this was the greatest uh, challenge to, to Putin's regime and to Putin himself in his uh, over 20 years of, of rule. Uh, and uh, it, it appears that they've been able to really uh, you know, calm the crisis and uh, get um, Prigozhin to agree to to stand down. But I think the damage really has been done to uh, to Putin and his um, uh, his his reputation among the the elite and his reputation with his armed forces. Yeah. What likely happens to Prigozhin now? Do you think he will peacefully live out his days in Belarus? It's really hard to say. I mean, you had uh, Putin saying that those who take up arms against the Russian state will be held accountable. Uh, and so he was talking very tough about uh, making uh, Prigozhin and his troops pay for this uh, this treason, as he called it, uh, or as others called it, I think. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's hard for me to see how he um, lives out his days uh, tending his garden or whatever in, in Belarus. I mean, ex explain that about face, because that is confusing to me. And I think for those who, who are watching these events unfold, how on the one hand can Putin and the Kremlin call this treason, call this a betrayal, promise retribution, and then all of a sudden charges are dropped, he's allowed to go to Belarus. I, how, how do you reconcile those two things? It's hard. It's it's hard to reconcile it. I mean, do you, do you uh, just not trust? Are going to, do you just not trust? Excuse me uh, for my interruption. Do you just not trust anything coming out of the Kremlin? I mean, do you just not well, trust? I definitely the, don't trust anything <laughs> coming out of the Kremlin. Right, right. Uh, and I don't think Prigozhin should either. If he thinks that he's getting uh, paroled from a um, uh, from a treason charge, uh, he's got another another thing coming. I think a lot of people are going to think that um, the Putin uh, was a little afraid of Prigozhin's power. And just realizing that his, especially some of the more conservative, you know, war hawks uh, in in uh, in his regime would um, would object to him being punished, would object to to him getting the kind of uh, accountability that Putin said he deserved. So um, I I think it it just by allowing him to go off scot free, I think people are going to question. Uh, Putin's um, spine, firmness, mm. and that's very dangerous for dictator. Yes. What does losing the support of the Wagner Group mean for the war in Ukraine? That's a really, that's a really interesting question because here you have a, um, a, a military organization that is battle hardened, um, has been on the front lines, is possibly the most capable uh, unit that the Russian uh, defense forces have, and they're suddenly taken out of the equation. This is a, this is a large group, as your reporters have, have, uh, have remarked on, and it, uh, it could have a real effect on the ability of the, um, of the Russian occupying forces in Ukraine to withstand the um, the Ukrainian counteroffensive. I mean, is this the right time for an intensification of Zelensky's counterattack? Is this a gift to Ukraine? I, you know, I, it was interesting. I, I think a lot of Ukrainians were, uh, were, were following this and they were hoping that it would be, that it would mean that this would be the collapse of, um, of, of the Russian invasion. Uh, I, I think that it's it's not going to be a kind of a magic bullet that will mean the end of the war or anything like that, uh, which a lot of people hope for. But I, I think it does really uh, it doesn't bode well for uh, for the uh, for the Russian efforts in Ukraine. Uh, it, morale was already low. It's got to be a, a heck of a, a lot lower after 
uh, the events of the last couple of days. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.